Hi, hello, welcome back to Sri's channel. We are with part 2 of lesson 1, grade 6, NCRT textbook. That is, who did Patrick's homework? Let's continue with the fifth paragraph. And true to his word, that little elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. The elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help. Help me! Help me, he would say. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way. So here glitch means, here the word glitch means problem. Actually glitch word means a fault in machine that prevents it from working properly. So glitch is a problem where it will, will it, where it will not allow the machine to work properly. So here it means a problem. Okay. So what, what happened? True to his word, I mean, he the word, elf has given word. What is problem? Promise that he will help Patrick in doing homework. So the little elf began to do Patrick's homework as he has as he had promised Patrick that he will be doing, but that he will be helping in his homework. He started. The little elf began to do Patrick's homework. But there was a problem. What was that? The elf did, it, did not always know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. Because he was an elf. Right? So he will be saying, help me. Help me, he would say. And Patrick must and should help this elf. Because he needs he need his work to be done. Because teachers won't ask him, teachers won't uh, leave him if he doesn't do his homework, right? So, so Patrick has to help the elf in any way, whatever way. I don't know this word. The elf squeaked. Squeaked means shout. While reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No. What's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. So see here. Patrick will be uh, Patrick was really in a trouble because he thought that just he can give the books and order him to do the work but here the scene was reversed as the elf doesn't know anything you can see here the picture as the elf doesn't know anything about reading or writing or whatever the homework so he will be asking Patrick help me tell me how to read this word because I don't know I don't know this word so I don't know this word get me a dictionary go find and get, get me a dictionary search for the word sound how will it sound read it out by letter read it out letter by letter so that I can understand now the Patrick work is double because he needs to read the homework I mean he needs to read he needs to do and he should explain for this little elf then only Patrick will be doing the work got it when it comes to Max Patrick was out of luck it means he will be in almost all danger zone more all problematic right because what are timetables the elf shrieked shrieked again shouted so he said what are timetables here tables what are time what are tables man we elf doesn't know about tables we don't know this max english science social we don't know we don't have them so what are they we elves never need that we are elves man we don't want that and here the hard words will be for this page glitch squeaked shrieked I forgot to tell you before page uh, hard words. These are the nine hard words which you come across in this eighth page. Bridges, which, doubled, dis dishcloth, hampered, grimaced, scowled, pursed, cursed. And addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so that so the little elf already shout already a shouter just got louder go go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so what happened the elf started saying like this we are Else, we don't know about addition, subtraction, division, fractions. We don't know. So sit, 
sit beside me next to me and simply you must guide me help me guide means help me you should tell me what is what i mean one ones are one if suppose uh, the addition is like a uh, 12 plus 13 what is 12 he has to tell what is 13 he has to tell how the addition will be he has to tell what will be the answer also patrick should tell please tell me now one answer instead of telling to elf he can do all by himself yes this fellow patrick didn't understand that even right so elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery for elves it is, what what is the f uh, fun of history for elves it will be a mystery mystery means puzzle for elves being an elves do we need to know this history moreover elf is singular plural will be elves f will be changed to v e s these are the things you need to know while reading a lesson this is important right so the little elf always a shouter got just got louder always the little elf will be shouting this time he got a louder even go go to the library i need books he'll be shouting go go man go go and bring more and more books you have to help me then only i can do you have to help me and you have to read them too i don't know reading for this page hard words are mystery puffed blurry very chores okay sorry chores so now let's go into seventh paragraph as a matter of fact every day in every way the little world elf was a nag nag means one who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something it's like taking revenge right it they want to trouble in any or the way they'll find the way how to trouble others that is called nag because elf asked patrick's help to save him from the cat but this patrick put him in put him in a agreement which this elf doesn't want this elf doesn't like that so he started to take revenge right so patrick was working harder than ever and was it was a drag here again rhyming words drag nag what do you mean by drag drag is something dull and un uninteresting which is not interesting patrick always was working harder than ever it was not the style of patrick he used to say i hate homework i hate doing homework and he'll be playing but now he had to work because this elf won't leave him so which was that drag which was an interesting thing he was staying up nights had never felt so weary and was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry so he never stayed nights staying nights i mean uh, he, he without sleeping he he will be sitting and reading and helping the elf and he had never fe felt weary weary means tired if at all he he didn't if at all he had worked he would have felt tired he never worked so he never felt weary and he was going he started going to school with puffed eyes puffed is swollen eyes without sleep your eyes will be like bulged or swollen right and blurry blurry means blood nothing will be clear because he was lack of sleep right no eighth paragraph finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out of the back door slyly means secretly so here quietly slyly or adverbs because they are describing the verb slipped slipped is escaped so the last day came where the elf was free to go because it was an agreement only for 35 days it was the 35th day so he can leave as there was no homework without intimating patrick he is quietly very very silently slyly secretly he peeped peeped like going right and escaped from the back door slipped escaped so any word which talks about verb will be adverb and mostly adverb will be ending with ly now the last paragraph sorry last before paragraph 
Patrick got his A's, his classmates were amazed. Amazed means surprised. And his teachers smiled and were full of pride. And his parents, they wondered what happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid, cleaned his room, did his chores, uh, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. Attitude means behavior. So it's completely got, Patrick got changed. Patrick got A's. Usually he used to get zeros because he never did work. Now he got A's and his classmates were surprised. Is this our Patrick? You usually will be getting zeros, but now he stood class first. Oh my God, what happened to him? And his teachers smiled, were full of pride. Teachers will always smile when they, when their students get good ranks, right? They feel pride, so they felt happy. And coming to parents, parents wondered, is this our child? What happened? What happened to our child? Now he started reading. So he became a model kid. Model kid is brand ambassador. So everything, whenever, when we achieve anything, we will become a model for others, right? Where, so others will be telling, see, look that boy. Look at that boy, how good he is, how he is reading. Yes, especially when there are two kids, parents will be telling uh, one uh, for one boy to look for other, right? See, look your brother, how is he reading? Look your sister, how is he reading? Am I right? And he's, he started doing all. As he became good boy, he started cleaning his room, doing his chores. Chores, nothing but work that must be done every day, often boring. Boring work, but it must be done daily, like cleaning, uh, sorting, other things. And he was cheerful. He will be always cheerful, always smiling and never rude. He used to be rude before, but not enough. And he developed a whole new attitude. He developed a new attitude. Now the last paragraph. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he had made the tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret just between you and me. It was in the elf Patrick had done his done it in himself so until even the end of the even in the even in the end Patrick will be still thinking that it was the tiny man who had done his homework but is that true did the tiny man do the work no Patrick did it himself he doesn't know it he didn't know it but I'll share a secret who is this I Carol Moore, who is your author, right? So between you and me, why I had used between two persons, if it is between two, only two, when we are talking about two, we have to use between, more than two, among. It was in the elf Patrick did, had done it himself. So it was not the elf who did the homework, it was Patrick. Thank you. I'll be providing you the notes in the next video. Thank you.